Hey guys, this is Danny Kreider and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. So today I want to give you an introduction to linking with Blender. Uh, we're, going to, uh, we're going to cover things like um, what it is good for in general and also how to do it. Uh, so let me start with uh, with uh, what it is good for. So when you do a movie project uh, or an animation project, you'll definitely have tons of files, many props and scenes and you know things like that and things are getting uh, very unorganized uh, very fast so, so when you do a movie project you'll definitely have to um, do something to stay organized and linking is the solution for that um, today I will give you an example for that now let's say this is our main project folder okay I'm going to create a couple of uh, uh, subfolders here. For example, props, and also another one called, um, let's say, materials, and then another one called sets, and one more. Let's call it shots. And every folder uh, of these four here has um, its own contents. Now, f when you start a movie project, you most definitely will start to create props, I guess. So let's do that very quick. I'm going to pause the recording now, but I'll be back in a second. All right, so here in our folder uh, setup, inside of the props folder, I created three subfolders, and these ones contain three props. For example, our cube, uh, a land file with just a cube in it, a monkey, and a sphere. So these are all three prompts that we're going to use uh, for this example. Um, well, next we have uh, we want to create our set out of um, different props. So we're going into Blender again and start a new scene. And this scene is, is going to contain on one hand uh, objects um, that are only inside of this one scene, for example the floor. Uh, normally this floor wouldn't show up in any other scene so I'm going to create it right away in this um, scene and of course name the objects so you can keep everything organized and next you go to find link and you can start linking um, yeah your props into the scene just select them click on them then you can go to objects and then select the object you want and link it into your scene. So right now you have this object here but you can't move it in, in any direction and it's in, in the middle of the scene so right now it's not really useful. But when you select this object and use the uh, shortcut Control, Alt and P you can convert this, um, you can make a proxy of this thing. And then you have your object here you can apply modifiers on it, uh, you can apply materials on it, but there is a big advantage of, of this. So you can move it around. Um, and let's put it here. And let's say we have a couple of copies of this object in this scene. So there is a group of these objects. Oh, sorry. All right. And we're going to save that in our set folder as scene zero one, you know, something like that. Um, right, and, and now let's say you have hundreds of these objects and then you notice, uh, oh no, I, I forgot to, to make this part longer. It's wrong. All the hundred objects uh, ha have to be changed. Uh, what you can do now is just go back to the monkey scene that you had here in this prop folder and all you have to do is go to edit mode change the object as you want, like this for example, All right? then save it and go back to your scene. And there you have it. Okay, I have to uh, say that I forgot to um, copy this object with alt D, that's why uh, the linking didn't work for this object. Uh, when you copy an object in here, do it with alt D, so, um, so the object data is synchronized for all of these objects or just um, relink it and you know just do it like this uh, but then with control alt p you can again 
make it to a proxy and you know do with it whatever you want and again if there's again something wrong with these objects you can go back to the magazine and change it as you want but this time all the objects will be updated like this right well yeah apparently I again forgot to use all the instead of shifty but um, I guess you know what I wanted to say with that uh, now you can go ahead and you know link all the other objects you want to have in your scene in here for example the sphere and then again control alt p with this selected to make it a proxy you can do with it whether you want okay and now our scene is done okay and we have our three monkeys here but they're not textured yet um, so what we're going to do now is we simply go back to um, actually we, we're going to create a new scene and in this scene we're just going to make the material itself uh, so let's do let's do just a color a red one okay without specular okay we, we don't <clears throat> we don't even need the cube uh, well while we're working on this um, on this material we need it but click on this F so that the material is saved even if there is no object um, with this material on it and then you can delete this cube so you have an empty scene um, nothing about this will be saved and so but we have um, a material saved in this file so you can just go ahead and save this file into um, to your material folder for example this is our red blend okay you can call it uh, whatever you want to and then you can go to the monkey scene and link into this scene the material of uh, this this material blend here go to material and this is obviously the one that we're looking for because it's the only one in the scene we should have named it actually okay and now you can just go ahead and click here and go to this material and you see that you can't change anything in here but just go ahead and save it and automatically um, in our scene here all these monkeys change the color to red and now, now let's say we did a mistake and we actually wanted to have specular so go back to your material scene uh, well obviously we're going to need an object again so we can modify our, our material we can just go ahead and add some specular to it and let's also change the color a bit so we can see the difference okay now let's save it and we can directly go back to our scene and the link so these monkeys are linked to the monkey scene and the monkey scene uh, has on the monkey object a linked material from the material um, folder so this is basically how we um, manage the whole thing and all the files are separate and you can go back and, and change something without having to um, work on, on many objects at the same time all right but now let's say we want to create an animation within the scene and we have a couple of shots and there is a camera movement from here to there and then there's a character animation over there and stuff like that <clears throat> we don't want to do this directly in the scene and make many copies of that because that's not really how we do it we're going to create a new scene and what we're going to do is we're going to link um, our scene in here so let's go to um, objects and we're going to take all the objects and import them uh, link them in here so these are linked objects now so we can't move them um, of course we can make them proxies if we need to move them around or modify them in here too but normally that shouldn't be the case but what you can do now is you can add for example a cube let's say this is our character it could also be a character and we can start animating it so keyframe for location and whatever else you want to do in here so this is that all right okay so we have our animation now and we're going to save that in our shot folder and we're going to save it and 
now we can also have another animation and save this this file as you know shot two shot three and so on with again every single shot with the whole thing imported but then we notice uh, oh we, we forgot to put an object in here so instead of going to every single shot file and importing this object here all we have to do is uh, go back to our scene and move around the object that's at the wrong position save the scene and then we can go go back to our shot and as you can see the object moved to the same place as it was there but we still have our animation here um, yeah so that that's the big advantage of this so if you're doing a movie project this is definitely something you want to have a look uh, at and I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I'll hope to see you in my next tutorial again bye